financial review of Detroit is underway right now, and it could end with the appointment of an emergency financial manager. Today, that review team met with some city council members behind closed doors, and as 7 Action News reporter Anu Prakash tells us, the council president seems pleased with how these talks went down. Actually, I feel a little better after uh, this meeting. That's Detroit City Council President Charles Pugh weighing in after being part of a closed-door meeting with some other council members and the financial review team appointed by Governor Rick Snyder. The goal of today's talks was for the state treasurer, Andy Dillon, to explain the financial review process. It's a review Governor Snyder asked for as he tries to determine whether the cash-strapped city of Detroit is in need of an emergency manager. Pugh called today's meeting productive. There's not some foregone conclusion that we're going to get an emergency manager manager, which is what I was listening for. And, uh... The city is now operating under a consent agreement between Mayor Bing and the state. A preliminary review of the city's finances found that a serious financial problem exists. There are options, but there are very few, to be quite blunt about it. And we've got to act. We've got to stop talking about what we need to do and do it. What are those options? Well, I, we will talk about them publicly at some point. But we've got to make sure they're realistic. Pugh says it was State Treasurer Andy Dillon who called for today's meeting. He adds that council is ready to meet with the mayor's office to fix the cash problem and hopes the right message gets across to the business community and Metro Detroit. People here can manage our cash problem uh, and that moving forward we can come up with uh, some long-term fixes as we deal with the short-term problem of our cash. In Detroit, a new Prakash, 7 Action News.